Good morning, my name is Lucas with Benchmark Tool and Supply. We're a CHC uh, machine control dealer, and today we have a uh, Bobcat with a MC Easy Nav system on it. I'll go over the hardware with you first, and then we'll go up into the cab, and we can go over the operation and the user interface for the system. All right, so this is a very simple and uh, easy system to install. It's got five main hardware components. The first one is the bucket sensor. Right here we have it on the dog bone. The next one is a stick sensor. And then the next two hardware components are the main antenna and the auxiliary antenna, both on the booms. Uh, it's very easy to install. You can show up on a job set about 8 and have it installed and ready to dig by 12 o'clock or lunchtime. The last hardware piece is this display that's mounted inside the cab. So one singular display and that's it. And that's your main five hardware components. Two sensors, two antennas, and one display. So up here with the display, you've got three main working windows that makes Easy Nav very easy. Uh, you've got a cut fill bar, uh, you've got a side uh, cross section and profile view, and then you've got a top down view. And those are your three main views on the screen. On the far right, you've got three buttons, and those buttons will change the indication of your bucket, whether it's left, center, or right corner of the bucket. Your next icon down is to shoot and store points. This is very helpful when staking out, building, uh, building lines, and cutting in surfaces based off of point references. The last button is to switch between buckets. So you can have multiple buckets up to tilt buckets. Uh, and you select that to change between a two foot dig to a five foot fine grade. If you want to change your views, you've got the double arrows right here. That will make your profile and section view the big view. So I'll tap between those. And you can kind of see, that'll tell you your slope of your bucket versus your cross slope of your bucket. You've got this quick easy button. Uh, when you tap that, it will bring up the surface selection and you can choose to create a flat plane surface, a slope surface, a line and trench, and a foundation. What makes this system powerful is you don't need any CAD software or any programming skills to be able to create a surface on the fly, whether you're digging in a septic tank, that would be a foundation surface, or running a leaf line for a trench, or cutting a flat pad for a building the system can kind of take care of all that, especially slopes. Up top, we have the data information bar that just lets you know that you have a fixed solution. And then if I tap on the name below, that tells me my active surface. And you can see all the historical rec records for all the surfaces that we've made in the past. So if you arrive back on a job site and you need to switch to a slope surface for a pond that you're working on a previous day, you can go ahead and do that and hit apply. And it'll change that surface. When it changes that surface, you'll get a new cut fill value for whatever your surface was. Um, and then you can operate the machine any, any way. So I'll lower the handle, I'll start to lift the machine. And you can see my cut fill will change. I'll put it back on that flat plane surface that I was on beforehand. Because that flat plane surface was built to the uh, asphalt of our parking lot right now. So now you can see I've got a cut two feet, so I can actually lower the bucket. Come down on grade and check in. And I'm on grade per what the display is reporting. I can switch back to the top down view. I can choose bucket left. Now that I'm on bucket left, say I want to shoot the corner of a building, I will push the button that records a point and it labels it as P1. So now I can lift the machine up and swivel to another part in the parking lot. I can touch down, record another point. I now have P2. So now when I swivel, I can see where P1 and P2 are in the corners of my building pad. Uh, you can continuously do this to mark grade, survey grade stakes. If I push and hold this, this will actually give me my point listing and it lets you know your northing, easting, and elevation for your points. So you're able to store and collect points. You could use this for as-built information to check in on previous work, or to replace a stake that's been knocked out previously. When creating surfaces, you can create a surface to one of your fixed points. So if I choose a flat plane surface, under this orange icon right here, I can choose to select a point from my point listing, and you can see it will highlight as I select that point. Because I can see the difference in elevations, it will use that as my design elevation. So 327.89. But you also have an opportunity here to choose the left, center, or right tooth 
for shooting in elevation. So if I choose center, it will take a five second shot of the center of my bucket and provide me a new elevation for my surface. I can hit confirm. It will create it. You can name your surface, building pad one, building pad two. Right now it will automatically name it as the date time group. So now I've on grade for my surface. If I lower my bucket, you can see me go below grade and it will call for a fill. If I switch the views, you can now see I've got a, a subgrade view. And I can also change it to profile. And you can see the angle of attack for my teeth. So as I start to work my bucket until it's flat, that line will key up green, showing that I have a flat bottom trench. And then I can just dig to the depth that I need to. That's how you can get a really good flat bottom trench if you, if you ever need that. Say I touch down on a surface and I know I need to put a vertical offset in so that way I can account for eight inches of stone and two inches of asphalt. I can click on this vertical offset and I can key in a negative 0.87 or about 10 inches. And you can see it'll actually, the artwork does a uh, great job illustrating what it's going to do. And now you can see let me put it back on. I will shoot a new flat plane project. The center of my teeth. Hit confirm. Create a new surface at the center of my teeth. And then I'll go ahead and I'll put that offset back in. So if I'm on grade right now and that's the finished floor or the elevation, for the asphalt and I know I need to go down to do a remove and replace operation. I can key a vertical offset of 0.87 which will lower me by 10 inches. Excuse me. So now when I dig and I get to the solid blue line I'll be at subgrade. That will be my vertical offset so when I get to the blue line I'll be at subgrade and then I can fill that back with stone and asphalt. Down here in the bottom, you have a level bubble to be able to see what your cross slope of your machine is, but there's also an elevation marker right here. So I can tap on the elevation marker and that will let you see a real time elevation. So as I lift the bucket, you can see the elevation will change. The great thing about this system too is you can come to settings and you can set up your your data boxes, your screen to work any, any way that works best for you. So I can click on views and I'm actually going to change the large view to the cut fill and I'll make my two side views whatever fits my working needs in that moment. I'll hit save, I'll come back. I'll take out that vertical offset so that it shows me I'm on grade. And now I have a really big green block. So the benefit of that is I can keep my eyes focused on the bucket and out of the corner of my eye, I can kind of wait and to see if that box turns green. When that box turns green, it lets me know I'm on grade and close and I can do a quick check. Another thing that I can do is I can turn on a notification for an alarm that lets me know when I get about a 10th out. Notification, turn that on. So that way, if I want to continue to look at my bucket, I can listen for the dings in the system and I can lift and I can continue digging until I get close to grade and then it will start to sound an alarm at me that I've reached my desired cut. I'll turn the alarm off for now. The calibration on this is very simple, only takes 30 minutes. The install is also very quick. It's a very user-friendly system. You can start the calibration, the install at 8 a.m. and be ready to dig by lunchtime. So that's the basic overview with MC Nav. Very easy to use system, operator friendly. Uh, it gives you exactly what you need on the job site. But it, and if you ever have any more questions or need anything, you can follow us on social media, reach out to Benchmark Tool and Supply, and we'll get you whatever answers you need on the job site.